Now, Keith, even when we get a day like today, which is chilly but really normal, it feels much better when the sun is out. Yeah, and uh, as as Ryan pointed out, this is a, like a brief cool down. It looks like we'll go back to above average temperatures. So this morning, 32 in Portland. Pat mentioned earlier the first morning that you could really feel it along the coastline. 29 in Wiscasset, 21 in Berlin and Freiburg, and we'll see more of that if not a little bit cooler overnight tonight. Average low is 36, so there's nothing crazy about this. High temperatures probably in the low 50s. We're in the upper 40s right now, except for the mountains still in the 30s, and our average is 53. So yeah, this is certainly not very much below average at all, if at all. It just feels kind of drastic based on where we've been. We got a trough coming through. There's some clouds in the mountains. You'll notice not much precipitation right now. A couple of snow showers out there. We'll see a couple of rain showers along the coastline possible later this afternoon through the first few hours of tonight. Models aren't too hot on it. Neither am I. This trough looks relatively weak, so I don't think it has a lot of moisture to work with. Plus, it's dry at the lower part of our atmosphere. So a couple of sprinkles is about all it's going to amount to later today into early this evening. After that, we clear out. I think this model is too warm. I think we're in the 20s even along the coastline by early tomorrow morning and low 20s in places like Freiburg and Berlin and uh, Rangeley in Greenville as well. Thursday is a mixture of sun and clouds temperatures in the upper 40s so that will be a below average day and then cool and uh, cloudy again on Thursday night. Friday looks quiet. That storm will be just offshore it looks like on Friday and we should be able to get back to around 50 degrees or so by Friday afternoon. So this storm system to our south on Friday will miss. The trough kind of helps usher it out to sea, but it will be relatively close. So we'll see some of the clouds from it probably on Friday morning. High pressure builds back in for the weekend and the weekend looks good. Our next storm threat doesn't really come in until Sunday night, more so Monday. That's going to be a big bowling ball of a low coming in uh, kind of off Savannah, Georgia area. And whether or not it makes an inland track or a more out to sea track still remains to be seen, but I think it's worth watching because watch this high and watch this low just crunch right into that high. Sometimes these storms can be so strong they can shift the position of the high and kind of move it out of the way. And so that's a possibility with this storm for us Sunday night, Monday. And as you can see, it's modeled as a real big storm. Again, probably we'd be talking about wind if it hits. And I don't think we need another windstorm. <laughs> Three in about a week and a half is not ideal. The weekend before there, though, looks good. Sunny, seasonable on Saturday. Probably more clouds on Sunday, but dry still. And then we'll watch that storm on Monday. We just got clouds right now because we feel no reason to say that it's going to hit, but it's, it's right there. Briefly mild on Tuesday and then probably back to mild weather late next week. It is uh, fall back again on Saturday night into Sunday. So we enter the time of somewhat depressing sunsets <laughs> starting next week. Yeah, I mean, I noticed the overnight temperatures too by Sunday start getting a lot more comfortable, which means the morning yeah. walks will be comfortable as well. Yeah, they moderate. And those who said they didn't turn on the heat before, they're definitely lying by now. It's getting pretty <laughs> chilly. <laughs> right. Thanks, Keith.